Hello, so welcome along, and this is episode 19, and it's all about spinning. We're just going to hone it down just for the spinning aspect of it, okay? So lots of people get really worried about when they start to spin, about falling over and all of that type of stuff. So just going to go through a few of the basics very, very quickly. Now, safety mode in your head is that if you are going to fall over, your natural thing, if you were to jump up and down, you would naturally have your feet shoulder width apart, okay? And that is a natural thing if you feel like you're going to fall over. However, the principle that we have when we're doing spinning is that of a spinning top, okay? So what we want to have is a very narrow base and a very wide top, ideally, okay? So actually, the narrower you have your feet together, the more stable you are going to be, okay? So that's the first principle that we have regarding spinning. The second part is that the axis that we want to go up and down wants to be as vertical as we possibly can make it, okay? Again, as soon as you tipple one way or topple the other way, then again, that can be quite difficult, okay? So, what we want to think about is very narrow base, very wide top as much as we possibly can. So, to start with with spinning, let's assume we're going to do a traveling spin. We're going to transfer our weight all the way forward onto our right foot if we're doing a clockwise spin. We want to go into what we call the open position. All right, now, the open position is your right arm's going to be out in front, left arm's going to be out to the left-hand side. If we look to him above, our superimposed clock face, which I, I know you know I love, okay, right arm is pointing towards 12 o'clock, left arm is down towards 8 o'clock, okay? And we have our legs, if I turn around sideways onto you can see, and again, this open position, so I've got all my weight forwards at this point here. Now, what I'm looking to do is go from this open position, like so, into a closed position, like so. Now that's going to make our momentum go round for our spin. And this is if we're just doing one spin. So if I take that step forward on the right foot, right arm goes out in front, left arm out to the left hand side, and I bring my left to my front, let my left to my right even, then I'm going to do that spin in a clockwise direction. So I spin around, I break, and then I'm going to go back to what we call six o'clock. Okay, so that's our basic principle when we're doing a spin. Of course, if we're going the other way, everything is the complete opposite. So left arm out towards 12 o'clock, right arm out towards four o'clock. We come round, we do our spin, and then again, for ease, we're going to go back on our right foot. Now, lots of people ask me about how to do more than one spin. Okay, to do more than one spin, unless you're incredibly accurate with your right foot, if we're doing a clockwise spin and everything is going to be perfectly in balance, then it's actually quite difficult to do one spin using one foot. So what do most people do? They call it, it's called a step turn, okay, or a step spin. So as you're coming round, effectively all you're doing is stepping on your right foot, then your left, then your right, left, right, left, right, left, etc, etc, okay? Now, if you have your feet close enough together, nobody's ever going to tell that you're not spinning on one foot. So if you're coming round and spinning like so, then you can do two and a half spins very, very comfortably, or two spins very comfortably, without having to do too much effort or worry too much about falling over, as long as you have your feet, knees, thighs very close together, okay? So that's the principle behind doing more than one spin, okay? So make sure you're still giving yourself lots of welly, bring the left to the right, the open to close position, and then have your feet tight together, and you can effectively walk it round, okay? So that's the basic principles that we have there. Now, other things to think about is when we are doing our spins, just gonna work very quickly from the bottom to the top, okay? Feet, as I said, want to be very, very tight together, that's what we want. Knees, again, tight together, squeeze, squeeze your bum cheeks, Always do the German accent, still no idea why. Okay, so we squeeze our bum cheeks as we're doing our spin. Core, remember, top half of the body, bottom half of the body, very solid in the middle, this very wobbly bit, okay, for most of us anyway. Okay, so that wants to squeeze your tummy muscles as much as you can. Keep the shoulders down. Again, if you've got the arms up here, your shoulders, you're gonna lose your neck a little bit. Okay, so you wanna make sure the shoulders are down. So again, the hands want to be touching, I would suggest, different ways you can hold them in front or face down to the floor, either, either. And then head, wanna make sure the head is level. Lots of people talk about having the head up. Most people then go, and look to the ceiling, that's not ideal, okay? So you wanna make sure the head is level. So we've got our perfect balance as we're coming round, and then you can take that step back after that, as always, towards six o'clock, okay? So just to recap, feet close together, knees 
everything. Squeeze everything as tightly as you possibly can. Keep the shoulders down. Squeeze your shoulder muscles together or your shoulder blades together. Okay, arms. I would suggest just below chest height for yourselves. Okay, whether you're a lead or a follow. And then head. We want to keep nice and level. Yes, if you want to spot and look at the very last minute and then flick the head round, that can also help depending on how you want to do that. Okay. Somebody asked me recently how I don't get dizzy doing lots of spins. Little trick that I do, it's a very weird trick, but uh, for me it personally works, for others it might not. I blink. So as I go round, I just blink ever so slightly, and then by the time I've opened my eyes up again, I can see my partner and therefore I don't fall over. But it also stops the room from spinning, so I know lots of people get very, very dizzy as they're doing spinning, okay? So that's some spinning for you, and hopefully we'll move on to episode 20.